All right, what's going on, everybody? So I wanted to encourage a lot of you guys. I know many of you guys that are watching, you are preparing yourself for new opportunities, ministries, callings. A lot of you are already in that boat, whether you are overseeing something, whether you are just in your family, in your community, your school, your workplace, whatever it is that God has you doing. But many of you are trying to get yourself to the next level, meaning that you want to seize the moment, that you want to make sure that you are led by the Spirit, that you are doing things that are godly, that are righteous. And I've been talking about that where a lot of people, the ones that are awake, the ones that are not lukewarm, the ones that are not taking their faith uh, like it's just a Sunday Christian mentality, but rather they're very serious about making sure they're in the Word, that they're in prayer, that they're living out a life that is pleasing to the Lord. And for many of you, you are seeing all these different types of, you know, Christians, all these different types of theologians and pastors and influencers, uh, all everything that you could ever imagine and wondering, man, what is the right way, what is good, what is bad, and, and just kind of weighing, you know, pros and cons and, and all that. And then making, your, making sure that you yourself, you are doing what God has called you to do as well as learning from, you know, other people. And one of the things that I want to just encourage you with is that if you are living a life that really is surrendered to the Lord, then you will face opposition. You will face times for for which people will hate you. People will uh, uh, look at you in a negative way. I have so many, you know, people that are like that uh, in the comments or whatever it is, right? And again, I'm not paying attention to that in the sense that it's affecting me. But what I am doing is that I'm not water, watering things down. I'm not diluting things. I want to speak what the Lord has me to speak. And of course, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to say all the right words. I'm not going to explain all the right things at the right time. Jesus himself, even though he was perfect, he said all the right things. He did all the right actions. He had no sin in him. Even Jesus himself, every single day, he had, you know, corner crouches. He had you know, people that were just uh, pharisaical. He had all these enemies. He had people that really wanted to just actually kill him. That's what the Bible says. They wanted to shove him off a cliff. They wanted to do things that were, uh, you know, crucify him. Obviously, is was his ultimate, you know, demise in, in, a, in a sense. But all day, he had people in a crowd. Some people were happy with what he was saying. Some people were angry and upset with what he was saying. And so you have a lot of people these days that are acting very politically correct. They're acting in a way, they're saying things, a sermon, your actions, your community, your church, so that you can please people instead of pleasing God. And a lot of people, they're stuck in this mentality and they can't break this barrier to step up in boldness, to step up in courage, to step up to fight sin, to stand for righteousness. And if that involves rubbing shoulders in some sense, saying things that are not very, you know, pleasing to some people. It's it, it's uh, it's going to anger people. Whatever it is, and I'm not saying go out and you know pick a fight and get in their face and start pointing fingers and, and being rude and things like that. You want to act in love and in grace. What I'm saying is that we're living in a society where too many Christians they're compromising. Too many Christians they're lukewarm. Too many Christians they're pleasing people, and too many Christians they're acting in a half-hearted way and they're not stepping up to their full ability. Jesus himself, he was gentle, he was loving, but yet when he flipped tables, when he said, woe to you Pharisees, when he said things, he was balanced. And that's what we need right now. We need people, brothers and sisters, warriors of Christ that are able to step up. And that's why I want to encourage many of you guys. You are watching, you're going about questioning, man, uh, should I have been bowling with uh, gutter, you know, rails? Every time I have to do something, I have to get approval from 10 different people and I want to make sure that it's written the correct way and uh, nobody's going to get angry at me, right? But ask yourself, if nobody's angry at you, if nobody is saying anything and you're just there, the world is okay with how you're preaching the gospel, how you are living your life and how you're saying certain things, ask yourself, do you think you're actually doing a complete, holistic, balanced approach to doing kingdom work or are you just watering things down? Are you just diluting things? Are you just being lukewarm? Are you compromising in a way? Because many of us, God is calling us to step up. But because we've been so affected by religion, the pharisaical spirit, we've been so affected by looking at all these other people, all these other Christians and saying, oh, they have no blemish. They say it in such a nice way. They say it in such a politically correct way. All of their church services, nobody's angry. Everybody's just 
uh, happy about things. And again, I'm not saying the pulpit is the time and place for you to call out injustice and social justice issues and political issues and all these different uh, sins. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying when you look at somebody and nobody is hating on this person, nobody, everybody loves this person, do you think there might be something that's missing in, in terms of the completeness in the ministry that one is doing? Or are they uh, doing something that's, uh, and, and some people, right? I'm not saying everybody should be hated, but some people, they're in certain roles, certain responsibilities, certain callings for which they have uh, almost a peacekeeping mentality and, and they may not go through a lot of hardship. So I'm not saying everybody is going to go through that, but I'm saying that when you are in a place, in a position for where, for where you're speaking truth, when you're standing up for certain decisions, when you are in a workplace, a school, or a family, a church situation, a, a, a dinner table conversation, whatever it is, and you're sitting there and you're just trying to uh, say things in just a half-hearted way and you're uh, diluting things and you're, you're not saying the complete truth, right? In, in, in the event that somebody gets angry, in the event that you look stupid, that you look uh, like you, you know, uh, marginalized or scarred somebody and you look like you're a bigot or whatever it is, right? But rather, what is it that God is wanting you to do to step up in this hour? We are in a time right now where the war is so thick in all realms, at the grassroots level, at the family, the personal level, all the way up to big picture, higher level, society, governmental levels, all these different things. And there's such a war in the spirit of information, of propaganda, of ideologies, of all these different things that you have to wonder, what am I doing? in my response, in, in what God has allocated for me, in my uh, s the stewardship that I have over the little that I, I'm over. And what am I doing with that? And so again, God is calling us to step up, to be soldiers of Christ in this time. So I just want to encourage you guys. It's tough, but we need more. We need more of you guys. We need more people to to uh, step up into this uh, into this hour that we have, uh, that God has called us to, to be in. So God bless you guys. Love you guys. Talk to you guys very soon.